Good afternoon, everyone. It is Sunday right now, and it is like 12.30, um, so like a little afternoon. Uh, we started off our day just kind of getting ready because we're about to go out to this really cute coffee shop and get some food and coffee, of course, and just kind of like brainstorm some like ideas and stuff for this channel. Um, right now, I'm sipping on kombucha. It's really yummy. This one is like a lavender one, and I don't really know what brand it is, but I'm sure you guys will see it in vlogs later, but it is so good. And look at this cup. This is Jessie's favorite cup. I know my nails look really bad, but just ignore that. Focus on the cup. <laughs> really yummy. Mmm. But yeah, we're about to get changed and then we're going to head out to the coffee shop. so many things here that it's a little bit overwhelming but we came to try to find some cute art for our gallery wall that we want to do that Jesse told you guys about um I'm not really having any luck because everything here is just a little bit too antique like I kind of want more like dainty cute pictures but I haven't found any yet so we're just gonna keep looking around for just a little bit and then I think we're gonna go to Jesse's favorite record shop called the Love Garden and maybe um we'll see the kitties that they have in there oh which will be cute. Mr. Meeseeks. Look at me. <laughs> Have you guys been up to Farquest? Where's your brother? Charlie! Hi! Hi, baby! So we've been home for almost an hour now and just like hanging out and now we decided that we're gonna go get our groceries for dinner today and lunch tomorrow. And then tomorrow is payday so we're gonna do a full grocery shop um, tomorrow. So yeah, we're about to head out and I just wanted to show you guys how cute our cats are right now <laughs> Charlie come here. Come here, baby. Look at that stretch Come here Hi, baby Oh, 
Okay, so earlier in the vlog, um, you guys probably saw some footage of us at the Love Garden, which is a local record store in Lawrence. Uh, they uh, had, they used to have like cats that walked around in the shop just casually for people to pet. And um, I don't know, our cats aren't chill enough to do anything like that. They kind of, they like to, to roughhouse <laughs> and do stuff. So anyway, that's besides the point. I decided it'd be a good opportunity to talk about a little hobby that um, I never thought I would have, but Reem got me into a few birthdays ago. Um, she got me like one of those all-in-one like Crosley record players, and um, I just had like a couple records. Like I think my first one was uh, Local Natives, and then I had one that I bought before I even had a record player from Glass Animals. Um, but yeah, I can't really speak too much about like the audio quality and stuff like that. I just know that like as an activity, I feel like I enjoy the music a lot more. Um, it's a little bit different to sit and like just enjoy from like beginning to end without skipping around and like shuffling and stuff like that. Like you get the full experience of like the way the artist intended you to hear the music. And um, all right, you get like a different perspective and you enjoy it differently. So whether it sounds better or not, I don't really care. Um, but yeah, so something that um, record labels like to do is uh, just based on the way the industry works, they like to do a lot of pre-orders for records. So they like sell things based in limited quantities and stuff um, ahead of time before it actually goes to pressing plant. So you'll, you'll order like a record and, and not hear anything about it for months. And then they just like show up on your doorstep at the same time. So over the past few weeks, I've been like getting all these packages in the mail of, of like pre-orders that I've done a while back and uh, I thought it'd be like a good opportunity to kind of open some stuff up. Maybe you guys can take a look at it and I can talk a little bit about it. So I just grabbed like a couple of them at random. I don't know what's in these because I've got like six or seven boxes just like sitting there. So right here, I don't know if you guys can get a good look at it. Um, this band is called uh, Kikagaku Moyo, which uh, translates to, I believe, Geometric Shapes. It's a uh, really cool. Let me check out the back right there. So they're basically like a Japanese psych rock outfit that they like. They met on the streets of Tokyo, like busking, and uh, they decided to start their own group and their own label. And um, I don't really know, like something about this music just kind of, I don't know, I don't want to talk about it and sound like too pretentious or anything, but like clicked on like a cultural level, I guess, because I never really realized like how cool um, some of the music in Japan was. Like when I grew up there, you know, as a kid, like I wasn't really exposed to what I consider like good music. <laughs> it was mostly pop and stuff, which you know, isn't, isn't bad, but it's not necessarily something that like sticks with you forever or means anything significant, you know? So, yeah, so nice gatefolds. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, let's take a look at the record though. Pretty sweet. Nice and clean. I mean, like, I wanna say it's like a 180 gram record, so pretty solid. I don't see any blemishes and stuff like that, so. Whenever I get my record player set up, uh, we just moved, so it's not like completely set right now. But when we get that set up, it's gonna be awesome. Okay, so this is a recorded copy of David Foster Wallace's speech. Uh, this is Water. And um, I just like randomly stumbled upon this um, after like hearing the name thrown around um, by like one of my favorite rappers actually. And um, he kind of referenced it a few times in some of his songs. Um, and then I never thought really that much about it. Like I just thought it was one of those like uh, philosophical references that he likes to make. And then it just showed up in my YouTube feed one day, just the speech itself. And it was like 24 minutes long. And I wasn't expecting to listen to the entire thing, but I don't know, something about it just clicked and I loved it.
This is like a book that came with this record. Have a Nice Life by Death Consciousness. Or is it the band? I don't know, this is my first time actually like, I listened to them because it showed up as like a related artist to something else I was listening to. Um, and it's really hard to describe their stuff. But that album is based off of like, um, like this cult. And I don't know if the cult is real or if it's just part of the story that they made up. But it comes with this book, which is like the manifesto for the cult. And you're supposed to like sit down and read it while you're listening to the album. It's a little bit different. Anyway. Um, I don't really know what the whole point of this whole thing is, but I thought it'd be kind of neat. And um, I've got a bunch more records to unbox, and I've, you know, if anybody's even interested in it, I can show them like my setup and stuff like that. Could be cool. Um, so I started eating dinner, and I realized that I forgot to show you guys what we made. Basically, we have some gyoza. These are vegetable gyoza, really good. And then I made some shrimp spring rolls. Yum, and then we also had some ramen while we were making the spring rolls. But yeah, that's basically it. I think that we're gonna call it a night since we've got work tomorrow. And we're not really doing anything for the rest of the night. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in our next video. Goodbye. Bye.